we're going to talk about hair tonight. You know, if you look at all of these sections as big clumps, right? Look at how this is radiating out like this. But really, that's like one big shape through there. Another one, another one through here. So the shapes are varied all through here, and they're all going different directions. So this is what I want you guys to think about when you do hair. It doesn't have to be this complicated, but it can have that kind of variation to it. Okay, this is beautiful. Look at how that ear sits underneath the hair. Look at the simplicity of that sculpture. You know, it's beautiful. All right, look at how the hair just kind of layers over top of itself on this. Look at how simple kind of these strokes are. So it doesn't have to be, you know, huge like the one you just saw, but look at the variation of the stroke. Look at, there's planes to it. Look at how the light is catching it. Look at the transition through here from the skin into the beard. Just beautiful textural quality through there. Little twist right there. Look at the ends of the hair. Okay, the part at the top of the hair. This is nice. I like this. Look at the part. You know, look at how her forehead goes back into the part through there. Nice little twist in here. Okay, so you guys get it? Look at reference. So there's a few things I just want to go over. For now, I want you to keep it clumpy where you've got basic clumps coming off it. So that's what I want to kind of show and demo tonight. I'm going to just smooth this guy out a little bit. Okay. So if you do have subdivisions, and again, you may have to look at reference for this, you know, depending on your character, but if you're just doing sculptural kind of hair, really get the overall helmet of the hair shape worked out first, and almost start off really big with this stuff, okay? It's easy to get nitpicky and want to, like, start to really refine certain areas, but you see, I went down to a lower level, kind of give them a little receding hairline, and again, I've got them mirrored. What I could do is I could come in here, I could mask out, you know, if I figured out what my hairline was, right? Okay, so I just did this. So now when I go back to sculpting here, I actually don't affect those parts. And it actually comes up a little higher. So. I want to get in my big, big shapes first. Looking a little funky there. Okay. Go back, do a little smoothing. Now, I don't have enough resolution, so even if I did want to get in here and start like kind of noodling stuff, I can't do it. So if I go back up to my high-res one, I actually don't even want to start there. I want to kind of build up gradually. So my first thing would be do big shapes. Then, say I want to create one of those kind of crazy hairstyles where I've got a lot of geometry. Then what I want to do is hair starts to grow from here. Most people have a place on their hair. I've got a huge cowlick that, that does this. My hair kind of grows out like that. Then let's say this is my part in my hair. I can actually mask that out so that now when I start sculpting out this way, it's a big part in the hair. So I could decrease that just a little bit. So look at where the center is, look where the part is, right? And then also think about the direction of the hair. So you've got this that comes down here. Is the hair style going back this way? Does it start here and then come out? Now remember, if it starts here, this is going to lay over top of all this stuff. So really, when you're doing a hairstyle, it's a little counterintuitive in terms of you should be starting from the bottom of the head. So you should be starting at the bottom and then layering over top as you come up over. So that way the hair feels like it's actually getting layered over top of it. If you start from the top and try and work your way down, it doesn't work. So you can get some kind of nicer, soft, smaller stuff happening underneath and then come over top with some bigger pieces. Okay, I'll change this. Change my focal, but work big to small. I'm going to go a little smaller through here. Maybe around the face, I'm going to go a little smaller strokes. But then I'm going to come over top, and this is more, again, the sculptural hair.
And I haven't smoothed anything yet. Okay, I'm going to go back to that point. And remember, hair is layered. So pay attention the next time you get a haircut and see how they layer your hair. They cut it from the bottom here up. So I'm going to take away a little bit of the mask here. Again, let your strokes, especially for hair, kind of create other strokes. You know, as you kind of mash these together. But think of it as, as hair clumps. Come back here. Should have came back here and then and change your brush stroke size. And then if you want to change the shape later on, go back down to your lower level. Go down here, pull it out, and then go back up and refine. So, it's my little hair demo.